sure I got a stuff crowd after lunchtime, are we? <laughs> hey, I have, the, uh, I have the, the extreme pleasure of introducing our next speaker uh, for today's event. I promise I won't forego my Rick Fair impression before I introduce him, but I may give a shout out after I hear him speak because he's an incredible speaker and incredible young man. Uh, Dalen Fisher is an Eagle Scout and Troop 249 sponsored by the South Minister of Presbyterian Church of Nashville. He currently attends Meg's Academy, our academic magnet school as an eighth grader. Dalen is an active member and a leader in his troop, having served in nearly every leadership position, including scribe, librarian, historian, troop guide, patrol leader, and senior patrol leader during his time there. Dalen's scouting career spans from Cub Scouting, where he received the Arrow of Light Award, through the district leadership of Camp Rees and district day camp, and into his many troop responsibilities since earning his Eagle Scout. In addition, in addition to scouting, Dalen serves as a master counsel, he's a presiding officer of David Thompson Chapter, Order of Des Moines, and International Youth Leadership Development Program. Dalen has more than nine first place awards in public speaking ritual contests in the Tennessee Choir competition. He also has been chosen as a member of the Nashville Children's Choir Premier Touring Choir, performing at the, the Shermerhorn Symphony and touring Chicago, Indiana, and several Tennessee venues. And did I mention that, that Dalen is only in the ninth grade? Yet he has managed to demonstrate the very ideas of an Eagle Scout we would expect. Please help me welcome to the podium Eagle Scout Dalen Fisher. given some opportunities to learn some very special lessons. Like Eagle Scout Steve Fawcett, I've learned that the skills I've developed in scouting can take me around the world. Like Eagle Scout Jim Lovell, scouting has shown me that there's a solution to every problem if I'm prepared to use the gift God has given me. Like Eagle Scout Neil Armstrong, scouting has taught me that the sky is not the limit. It's only a stepping stone. And like Eagle Scout Mike Rowe told us at the 2013 National Jamboree, <laughs> a scout is clean, but not afraid to get dirty. <laughs> my scouting journey began as a Cub Scout in Pac-202, where numerous adult volunteers, including my parents, helped me earn the Arrow Light Award. But I wanted more. For me, that was a super achiever award, and of course, crossing over to Boy Scout. My parents had always joked about the fact that I had an Eagle Scout before the age of 16 or I couldn't get my driver's license. <laughs> they said it was to prevent the effect of what they called the three W's. Work, women, and wheels, and not necessarily in that order. <laughs> I guess you could say that was my first goal Boy Scout. But that all changed when I had only been a Boy Scout for about two months. I visited the 2010 National Jamboree Alumni Day with my parents. As we walked around the Jamboree, I met an elderly man in full Scout uniform. His name was Mr. Lobeck. And that chance encounter changed my life forever. He asked me if I wanted a hand-carved neckerchief slide. I said yes, and I reached into his Santa-like satchel and pulled out an eagle head neckerchief slide. I then learned that he had been to every national jamboree since 1937 and received his Eagle Scout from James E. West himself. But what caught my attention was his eagle ribbon with those six funny little pins on it. My goal of Eagle Scout by age 16 was now at risk, and I had to ask myself the question, what if I could do more? On the way home from Fort AP Hill, I figured out that if I wanted to earn six silver palms like Mr. Lobeck, I would have to earn 111 merit badges and get Eagle Scout before the age of 14. That was now my new goal. So I set the goal of getting to the first class ranking within my first year of scouting, then I started the journey, using summer camp to learn skills, tie knots, earn the toe chip, and practice a little bit of first aid after I cut myself with a knife. <laughs> all was going well until scouting introduced the 2010 Centennial Rank Patch for all ranks earned during that year. So I asked myself, what if I could do more? 
What if I could get first class by the end of the year and earn this special patch? And at winter camp in 2010, on the rainy morning of December 31st, I sat for and passed my first class board review. The journey continued. More skills, more friends, more merit badges, and way more adventures. I worked in advance over the next year and four months to the rank of Life Scout. I was still moving towards getting my goal of Eagle Scout before the, the age of 14, when in 2012, the Boy Scouts of America introduced the Centennial Eagle Scout patch to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the first Eagle Scout. So I asked myself, what if I could do more? What if I could get everything done by the end of the year in 2012 and earn a special patch? That was now my new goal. Over the year, I worked and planned. In the summer, I began looking at possible Eagle Scout projects. I saw all the typical ones, but I had to ask myself, what if I could do more? What if I could do more than just a trailer benches? I wanted to do more than just a building project. I wanted to change my community. I wanted to have a safety fair. But what if I could do more? What if I could arrange to have child ID kits for kids? What if I could arrange to have the kits completed and not just hand them out to do at home? What if I could have a photographer there to take pictures to put in the kits? What if I could get the supplies to create 25 emergency preparedness kits to distribute? What if I could get the help of the police, fire department, Red Cross, and other groups to help educate the community? When I met with my project coach, he said the project was too big to do by the end of the year. He said I needed to either streamline the project, delay the completion date, or get really focused. So I decided I could do more. He asked me how many people I wanted to attend this free child safety fair. I said I wanted at least 50. Mr. John then explained to me to get 50 people there, I would have to distribute at least 5,000 flyers and go flyer crazy. So we went flyer crazy. <laughs> We passed out flyers at the National Veterans Day Parade. We stood for 12 straight hours at the local election polls and handed out flyers. We even sent flyers home with every student's student at nearby elementary schools. We even arranged for interviews with new student Fox 17. And we did do more. Over 250 children received kits and information on that beautiful day in November. So then I had to ask, what if I could do more? What if I could get Eagle Scout on December 12th 2012. That would be 12, 12, 12. Or even better, what if I could get everything done before my 13th birthday on December 10th? Well, the answer is I could not. <laughs> <laughs> that was another important lesson scouting taught me. You don't always reach every goal you set. I sat for and passed my Eagle Scout Board Review nine days after my 13th birthday. But here's what I also learned. By setting tough goals, by constantly challenging myself, and by always asking the question, what if I could do more? I achieved the highest rank in scouting much sooner than the age 18, or 16, or 14, or even December 31st, 2012. What if I could give more? I have. I'm now helping other scouts in their journey to Eagle Scout. I'm participating in my community, and I'm leading other youth organizations. I continue to push myself and seek new adventures. I went to the 2013 National Jamboree and I overcame my fear of heights and was able to ride a monstrous zip line, almost three quarters of a mile long, traveling almost 65 miles per hour, 200 feet above the ground from the top of a 1,500 foot mountain. Where else but scouting can a young man do that? So my journey continues. Remember, I'm still so pursuing those six silver palms. So I still ask myself, what if I could do more? I'm now age 40. What if I joined Venture or Sea Scouts or both? What if I went for the Venture and Silver Award or the Sea Scouts Quartermaster Award? I'm enjoying the Order of the Arrow and I enjoy serving as our chapter chief of our chapter. What if I could give more of myself? What if Lodge Chief or Section Chief or maybe even National Chief were possibly in my future? I don't know where this journey will take me, but I know that it will always be an adventure. An adventure started in Scotland.
I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for your support. And I want to thank you for helping make scouting the best youth program this world has ever seen. All this is possible because of young men like me in scouting learn to try new things. Push ourselves and ask the question, what if I could do more? All this is possible because people like my parents and project coach, Mr. John, give up their time to be leaders. All this is possible because of companies like Brown and their incredible team members who have supported this great organization called the Boy Scouts of America. What if we together can change the 4% of Scouts becoming Eagle Scouts to 5, 6, maybe even 10%? What if each member of the Brown team gave just a little more of themselves to help make Brown more profitable and fulfill UPS founder Jim Casey's slogan of best service and lowest rates? By you, helping create more value for Brown. That allows UPS Foundation to give more to organizations like the Boy Scouts of America. You can help young men like me enjoy this incredible journey. So, when you and your teammates return to your truck, desk, counter, or office, I challenge you to consider asking yourself and your, your friends one very important question. What if I can do more?